И, дорогие друзья, уважаемые сотрудники, прежде всего, благодарю Ивана Анатольевича и Олеги Гришину за приглашение, что я рад предоставляю доклад сюда, в Москве. И сегодня мой доклад будет на зим об альфа-инвалиентах тени. Эта работа совершена мной и профессором Чу Хуа в прошлом году. Но, э, да, давай начинаем. Э, so, э, at the beginning, we assume that ML is an n-dimensional polarized projective manifold, and a uh, calorimetric omega in the class 2 pi C1M, and we define the space of uh, Омега плюс стабхомоника функция, как H омега и в 1987 Небольшое число C альфа, но C альфа это число в независимости от выбора фай в пространстве H омега. Но если M имеет действительно компактную группу K и омега в 2 пай C 1 R, Такрики инвариантна. То мы определяем HK омега как инвариантные функции. И у нас альфа К инвариант. Для все фаи омега сюда К инвариант. Of alpha, alpha invariant, uh, uh, first it was defined by Tian uh, when he start the, started the existence problem of uh, Galois Einstein metric on a uh, 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 funnel manifold, and he proved that if alpha uh, alpha is bigger than n over n plus one, then it's the color, uh, then we have Galois Einstein metric. In the same year, Tian and Yao estimate the alpha invariant of CP2 sharp NCP2. And they proved the existence of Klein star metric by studying alpha invariant in case um, star, uh, uh, А потом Димай и Кола доказывали это описание альфа инвалиант, что альфа инвалиант равнее инфимиум LCT. Это алтиплетическое. С тех пор может вычислить альфа инвалиант в алтиплетическом методе. And uh, uh, later, I think maybe uh, Ivan Anatolievich is the most famous uh, specialist in this field, and he have a complete com computation on non-singular pedal surface. And then for the almost every uh, smooth final threefold, uh, joint work of uh, Cherezov and Slamov. They use the computation of LCT and the and the theorem of Demaya and Kola. Now for the alpha in the invariant with a compact group action, um, for the earliest work I can find is the work of Song Jian for uh, Song Jian at uh, 2005, he computed the 
alpha invariant of a toric manifold. And uh, the group is chosen to be the compact torus T cross um, the wire group W. And uh, here the wire group is the wire group of uh, of a morphism map with this against the, the maxima torus. That's why group. And uh, um, his, uh, his result is, uh, uh, is by the com combine combinatory data of the, of the polytope associated to this torque manifold. Uh, and uh, again, in the same paper, Demaya and Kola proved the following description of alpha k. Uh, I mean, with the with a group action, like. And in the same paper in section five, uh, Chalisov and uh, Shlamov also computed the for a toric manifold, the alpha w. In their case. They only consider a, a finite group W. Uh, you see that uh, this one is a Lie group. But they finally they proved that these two alpha invariant coincide with each other. And later in 2017, uh, Dirichlorx assumed that the manifold is, assumed that the, pro, the compactification is final. And he calculated the alpha invariant for uh, arbitrary, arbitrary polarization. But he, uh, he asked for, for, for this condition. And uh, now we turn to the alpha MK invariant. Uh, that is, uh, we first have a polarized n-dimensional projective manifold. Um, in my talk, I assume it to be smooth and uh, each uh, Hermitian metric on L, such as the curvature is a uh, color metric on L. Then for any multiple line bundle Lm, uh, we can define an uh, inner product on H0, uh, space of uh, holomorphic sections, the global inner product. That is to integral the, the pointwise inner product, the pointwise inner product on the whole manifold. Uh, so for any k-dimensional k-dimensional subspace of the H0, I wrote it as a grass mania. We can choose in it an orthogonal, orthogonal base uh, I denote by S1 to SK and we can ex express the Bergman kernel like uh, the point was norm square and the uh, analytic sum. Then we define an uh, integrability index uh, that is uh, for Lm and uh, k dimensional and uh, space pi to be the to be the largest uh, to be the supremum of alpha such that this integral is uh, is finite. And uh, we define the, uh, that is the definition of uh, TNS alpha MK invariant. And if we consider a compact group K action, then we have a, uh, we have a, it should be a K here. Uh, the, the last motion is right. Uh, we consider the K invariant, invariant space in the, uh, in H link. Um, and we have some, some comments. Um, Snatchola, 
Alpha MK invariant body operates the line GNM for Zivenostom got to Gakta on its thread of Waprosa Kalabi, now Bobber Nosti Fano. Now let's call on us resulted of which is linear alpha MK invariant. The only one I know is that on the cubic surface, I know that Shi Yalong in 2010, he computed alpha M2. And very recently in 2014, on the singular dipedal surfaces, that is Tresov and Costa, they computed the alpha M2. Uh, and we also have a, a, a theorem for the limit of the alpha M1. I mean only from, for one section. That is the limit will converge to, uh, converge to alpha ML. And also, Chalisov and Gosta give an uh, algebraic description. That is the alpha M2 is uh, the infimum of uh, LCT of uh, some two-dimensional space of the, of the whole holomorphic section space. They define it, uh, they, they calculate it in the paper. And in 2012, Tian proposed the following conjecture. Uh, he, he thought that uh, there should be, uh, for, any, for any polarized manifold ML, uh, and uh, fixed K. Um, a fixed k, there should be a uh, n zero in uh, there should be the uh, there zero such that the alpha l k invariant or equal to the alpha l zero k invariant if the l is bigger than l zero. Um, and uh, in in recent years. We have some uh, we have some significant progress in this in this conjecture. I think the most famous one should be the theorem of Birkar in 2016. He proved that he proved that for the when k is one, then there is an m zero such that there is a subsequence of the original theory. M alpha k. I mean those m divisible divisible by by m ling m m zero is the we have they all equal to the whole the the final alpha invariant. But maybe we are guessing what what this. M link can be taken to one the, um, the whole alpha M1 invariant will equal to alpha invariant, but Chelesov uh, and uh, his uh, colleagues proved that uh, it cannot hold uh, because there exist surfaces SD with uh, ample line bundle H in CP3 such that the alpha invariant is strictly smaller than alpha one one, so you cannot, uh, so you cannot find a um, uh, sub series such as the equal to the equal to each other. So now we turn to our main result. Uh, we consider the bi-equivalent compactification of a. Uh, Connect a complex reductive Lie group. Uh, I mean, a uh, complexification of a connected compact group. Um, this kind of manifold is a 
is a is a smooth manifold with a g times g action on it, uh, such that there is an open and dense orbit on M, which is isomorphic to g as a g times g homogeneous space. Um, here we consider g as g times g coseness diagonal g coseness diagonal. G. And this is the manifold. Then we have the conception of polarized, polarized compactification. Um, that is, again, on this M, there is an ample line bundle, G times G linearized. Then we call this a polarized uh, G manifold. Uh, come, come back. Uh, the whole G times G action has an open and dense orbit in M. Uh, it is open, also open and dense because it is isomorphic to. Uh, it is off, also open, open and dense. Uh, you are right. Uh, I want to see this like a premier. Uh, when we take g equals to c star n, then we have the, uh, uh, the torque manifold. And in 1983, uh, he proved that the p n square minus 1 can be, can be taken as a compactification of pgl n state. Uh, that is because we can we can think the C n square as the space of n times n space of n times n matrix complex matrix, and we consider the action G and G on the C. G1, G2, and uh, X2, G1, X inverse. So uh, it only depends on the rank of this X, the orbit. And the, and the principal orbit is that uh, X n times n. Rank x equals to n. This is the main, main orbit. So if you consider only right, uh, right action or, or left action, you will have infinitely many orbits. Infinitely many orbits. Because uh, you can only deal with the rows or the colonies. So this is the open and dense orbit. Uh, this is the work of Archiete. And then, the Consini and the process in the same year, they proved, they proved that for a semi-simple and a joint group, G and joint, there exists a wonderful compactification of it. Uh, I mean, uh, all the boundaries are uh, uh, simple normal crossing divisors and, uh, and the corresponding G times G orbits are the, are the intersection of this of these orbits. Also in the same paper, I uh, also proved that for SL2C, uh, it also has wonderful compactification. And later in uh, classification work, Gandini and the Rutsis proved that for Semi-simple, now at the joint group G, the only, the only ones which has a, a wonderful compactification are SL2C and SP2NC. Uh, so if you uh, want to know more about the results of the spike equivalent compactification, uh, you should 
uh, maybe you can read a, a paper of Dimashov, uh, Narulari Mathematicus Gisbornik. Do you this is treatable uh, 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 This is uh, our first, uh, first main result in, in that work. And if we have a smooth polarized compactification of G, then we can find an uh, amyling such that the alpha L amyling Y invariant with respect to this K times K action all equals to the alpha invariant with the K times K action. So uh, maybe you can think this as a version of Birkhoff's theorem. Uh, for the alpha k invariant. And for the toric case, uh, that is the first proof of that. Uh, we prove that if you want to have an a, a mk such that you can find a, sub, uh, a subsequence which all equals to, uh, all equals to the alpha mkk invariant. Uh, it only happens when you have a face of the polypore. So this is the polypore. When you have a face f here, such that uh, the function tx when restricted on f uh, equals to the alpha invariant of uh, of this uh, of this manifold, and uh, you should have at least a k point on this on this face intersected with the with the lattice. Uh, so here is uh, uh, here here is the is the. Uh, so you should have in a uh, same phase at least k points. Uh, we define the function tx as a, if there is the original and there is an x, then you say this j x o when the first when they pass the other side of the boundary, this is x a p and the tx is equal to. O x e p um, over over this um, over this uh, maybe x x e p x x prime and, and this function. Um, indeed, Song Jian proved that the minimum of this t x on the polytope is in fact the alpha t invariant. With to look, uh, oh, I see that the T of the fire center is the greatest little lower bound. So uh, the greatest little lower bound is the function T at the fire center, and uh, the alpha invariant is the infimum, global infimum. And then you find that it is t it is attained at some point, and it, it, indeed a vertical is uh, enough. That's enough to consider the vert vertex. Um, and we should uh, we should notice that this theorem B does not provide any counter example of TN's original conjecture. Because the alpha mkk here uh, is uh, well, body, uh, body alpha mk, so it is it is much bigger. So maybe you still have alpha mk l equals to uh, the alpha or uh, the alpha invariant, but this one is bigger. Oh, this one is bigger. So it provides no counter example to the contract. 
Now let me sketch the proof on the lip group. Uh, we take it as a compactive, uh, complexification of a connect, compact lead group. And we fix a maximum complex torus, uh, that is the TC here. Then we have the wire group and the group of uh, characters, that is a lattice. And then we have the root system. And we choose a system of positive roots. Uh, we sum all the positive roots, and uh, half of the sum we denote it by rho. And then we have a wire chamber. Uh, that is, uh, the, it is uh, non-negative when taking the inner product with uh, any positive roots. So uh, in the picture, the dashed area is the uh, is the wire chamber, the positive wire chamber I fixed, uh, and uh, these are the roots, the three are the positive ones. Uh, and uh, in the group compactification, there is a very important sub-manifold, is the closure of its, uh, of its maximal torus. Uh, Alexeyev and uh, Kazarkov here, uh, they proved in their paper, in a paper on GAFA that when the whole compactification is smooth, then this torque sub manifold is also a uh, polarized torque manifold and also is a W action. So by the Cardan decomposition, if you have a K times K invariant colorful, then it is totally determined by its restriction on this toric submanifold. And uh, by the W invariance, the potential of this toric, uh, this toric uh, metric should be a smooth, strictly convex and the W invariant function. And uh, roughly we write it as uh, omega nulli roughly DDC percent. And uh, the final, the, final, uh, the final theorem is that uh, Alexeyev and Kazarkov proved that the torque sub-manifold indeed, uh, indeed uniquely determines the whole compactification. So it's enough to study this torque sub-manifold. We call the polytope of this torque sub-manifold as the polytope of the original compactification ML. And it is a lattice polytope, lattice polytope in, in, a, in, a dual, in a dual space of T. And we, we intersect it with a, with a positive wire chamber, that is a positive part P plus. And uh, you see that it is a fundamental domain of the P under the wire group action. So this is the P SL, PSL2, and uh, PSL3, and uh, the yellow polytope is a whole polytope, where, the, where, the, where this one, the darker one, is the positive part. And we can also explore the whole space of holomorphic sections as a G times G representation space. Uh, this is proved by Alexeyev Brion and Alexeyev Kadarkov. Uh, they proved that the H0 space is the direct sum of the, mu the multiplicity is all, equals to, uh, all equal to 1. Uh, the direct sum of uh, endomorphism of the highest weight representation and the lambda is taking over all the, uh, all the lattice point in the positive part. Uh, as we said before, we can, we can uh, reduce all the problem to the torque sub-manifold. So we restrict it to the TC action. Then we, then we can further decompose it into torque-inreducible representations. 
Uh, so this is why it can determine all the the whole the whole compactification. And we have uh, something like a sure lemma, the orthogonality, is that if in this expression we have two sections, one from lambda one mu one and one from lambda two mu two. If the, if the lambda one mu one does not equal to lambda two mu two, then these two sections should be orthogonal with respect to the uh, global inner product. Uh, and this is a, a very basic result in representation theory. So I omit the proof here. By this theorem, we can further reduce the Hermitian metric and uh, the Bergman kernel. That is, we choose an uh, orthogonal base from uh, the SI lambda 1 lambda 2 is from the space we from this. This is the multiplicity. from this. And by the orthogonality, we can, we, can then, we can then express the Bergman kernel as the following. And if the multiplicity M0 is large enough, then we can choose a Hermitian metric as the uh, induced metric from the Kodai line uh, embedding. Then we see that uh, on the toric, along the Torx submanifold, we have this, this equation such that uh, on the open dense torque orbit, the, the section as a point can be expressed by, the, by a function, by the representation function. And this, so we have the reduction of H and B in this, frame, in this framework. Then for a uh, subspace, you do the same thing. Because it is a k times k invariant, hence it must be direct sum of uh, some of the, some of the, uh, the irreducible representations appeared before. And we have the corresponding Bergman kernel. And we take the indexes lambda appeared in the in the direct sum of pi and take a convex hole. And we will use a k times k integration formula. That is, if a function is a function phi here is k times k invariant, then it can be reduced to an integration on the torque sub-manifold with, with this weight factor, with this weight factor. Then we test the, the integrability. So we can prove this theorem is that for the for a fixed subspace alpha mk pi equals to the supremum of this alpha such that uh, the piecewise linear function on the on the right hand side is strictly strictly negative on the positive y channel. And we denote a we star the spot function of of star here. Uh, this, this expression is, uh, is a little com uh, complex, and we will reduce it more simply in the following. So the proof is that you just use the, uh, the expressions before and put it into the, into the integral. Uh, that is to compute the so this, is, so this is B with a uh, this is a bounded term. Uh, you, you put all you put you put in all all this, and uh, you can exp you can you have the asymptotic expressions. That is, uh, uh, 
or we will see it, see it later. And, uh, and we have this asymptotic expression to deal with the, uh, the volume for uh, this is the piecewise linear function associated to this uh, restricted line bundle. And when it is a funnel, you can just uh, replace it with a, uh, with a E minus U star, the color potential in, in the C1 class. So you can express the integral I mean, in the right hand side. Well, the, the function on the exponential is piecewise linear. So, and, uh, so it, uh, it suffices to require it to be negative. Then it will be integra integrable. And we reach the, we reach the zero. And for when it is a funnel, and R is minus Km, it is much easier because this, uh, this gamma, this piecewise linear gamma will be, uh, will be a minus V, the product of P, the spot function. And you can, you can, take, uh, you can combine it with the alpha spot function uh, together to get this uh, simple form, simple form. And then if you further assume k equals to y, just for one section, it is much easier to become a function of, uh, become a function on the p intersects with the az star, the central part of this polytop. And uh, uh, you have the most simple expression in the case, well, I mean the final and uh, k equals one. Um, but for our purpose, we should further, uh, we should further simplify it. So we write the polytop at the intersections of uh, half spaces, and then prove that the alpha invariant equals to the minimum of this of, of, of some, of some uh, linear functions with a value at some vertices. So this will be defined by some LA equals to zero. And then you just compute LA with respect to this or this point. Only consider the vertices. Uh, so you will, you will find that with this equation, this invariant is attained at some vertices of P uh, intersects with the AZ, AZ star. So it's attained by one section. Then the multiplicity of this section, uh, the, this section will also force the all alpha LM0 invariant to equal this alpha invariant. Uh, this is uh, why we can find this uh, subsequence. So we get the first theorem. And for an example, this is the compactification of GL2. So the polytop will be uh, maybe this is and. Uh, so this is the P plus. And you will find that the alpha invariant is attained at this point, one over two, one over two. This is not an integral, integral point. So you, have, so you have considered the line bundle R across tensor, tensor two to make it uh, becomes one, one. So you have that all the alpha 2k1 equals to alpha. So, so this, is a, this is the example. You find all the even number uh, equals to each other. And this is for the torque case, because we can express the alpha invariant as the global minimum 
of this Tx. And uh, there is a very elementary property that this, uh, this Tx can only attain its minimum at, uh, at, some, at some vertices. So if it attains its minimum at the relative interior point of, uh, of some face F, then it must hold on the whole face. Uh, it always equals to this alpha, I mean the minimum of t. And, and the projection of this, uh, of this face should also be lie on the, on the other side of the polytope. So if you, if, you do not, if you do not have this property, then you will find another point on the same face F, I mean the P prime. And the ray will intersect with the, with the polytope here. And then on a parallel, parallel face with respect to the original F. And you will find that TP prime is strictly smaller than TP. So alpha invariant cannot equal to, to this TP. And you get a contradiction. Also, if it just lie on the, on the boundary of P, but not whole, the whole uh, reflection lies in it, uh, it have the same problem. So it must hold that Tp over Tp minus 1 f in uh, whole in the boundary of the polyton. And then T will equal to alpha on this whole face. And because the alpha invariant is uh, uh, the alpha mk invariant will be the convex hull, will be taking the supremum of, uh, of on this convex hull. So you cannot contain any other points away from this f. If you have one, then the convex hull will be bigger, and you contain some some point to make this uh, make this supremum bigger and it will be bigger than the alpha t invariant. So this is the proof of the second theorem. And we have an example that is CP2. You find that on the boundary only at one vertex, uh, it attains the alpha t invariant, will be one over three. Hence, all the alpha mk invariant, you cannot find such a subsequence. Uh, what if it's possible?
420. In 420? Yeah. So uh, food is on this one. 